Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Galileo Sky Tech support team. We continue learning how to use algorithms in EasyLogic with our EasyLogic Creators videos. In this video, we will show you how to work with driving style parameters. We will look at three main variables used to control driving style – acceleration, angular acceleration and speed. These variables are stored on the navigation tab. Acceleration variables start sending data to EasyLogic only after tracker's accelerometer calibration. You can learn more details in the instruction in the description below. Acceleration is sending data on acceleration forward and braking, angular acceleration on acceleration while turning. All data is sent in millimeters per square second, or approximately one-tenth of a milli-g. You set the acceleration limits according to the vehicle's size and weight, as well as corporate driving style standards. The bigger value you set, the more harsh acceleration and braking is allowed to perform. In our case, we will use 250 mg as our limit. We add a condition that will check if the acceleration value is higher than 2500. Braking will also use this variable. But the value will be negative, since basically it's acceleration on the same axis in a different direction. We check if the acceleration is lower than minus 2500. In order to check an acceleration while turning, we use the angular acceleration variable. Limit is set equal to 1500 for one side and minus 1500 for the other side. At last, we check the variable we already used in our previous videos. We add speed checking. In our case, we'll set speed limit equal to 100 km per hour. Using a simple chain of conditions, we have set a consecutive checking of different driving style parameters. In our next video, we will show you how to set different reactions in case of violations.